Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. The title of today's episode is Lean In to Being a CRA. And I want to talk about that because I was recently at a site visit and one of the study coordinators told me that I was one of the few or one of the only monitors that they deal with on a regular basis that is not coming in super tired, is not coming in super stressed out and super burnt out uh, because, uh, you know, for whatever reason. Now, I'm going to give in my episode my thoughts on why this might be and why others may be trying to uh, or maybe, you know, feeling overwhelmed and burnt out and things of that nature. Now, one of the big reasons is, you know, I work for a sponsor now. So I think that is a lot to do with it. Whereas a CRO, you are going to be on the road a lot. They are going to try and basically run you into the ground as much as possible because they only they're only making money when you're on site and the whole idea of being a sponsor is you got to be billable so they want every hour of your time to be billable to the client they want as little time as possible for you not being billable and the easiest way for you to be billable is if you're on the road so there's that working against you too if you're a CRO sponsor but other than that because I do have friends in the industry that do work for CROs and I do not hear these complaints of being tired burnt out and blah, 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 blah. So my the t- that's why the title of this episode is Lean Into Being a CRA. Go with the flow. Now, I'm going to give you a kind of a scenario. If, you, if you're paddling or swimming up, you know, in a body of water, let's say it's a river, and you're going against the river. Sure, you might be super strong, have great technique in the beginning, but that river is pushing against you, pushing against you, pushing against you. And eventually, you're going to get tired and worn out. And eventually, you're just going to stop uh, swimming and the river is going to keep moving and eventually you're going to go all the way back to where you started from. So I think that a lot of these CRAs are trying to uh, kind of go against the river of what lifestyle is like as a CRA. Sure, as a CRA, you're going to get home late Friday nights. So you're not going to be able to go out with your friends that night potentially. Or you're not going to feel like going out with your friends. And you may feel like that's a loss. Or you know you may miss someone's birthday during the week, someone's birthday dinner during the week because you're on the road. Or, you know, you may have to travel on a Sunday for a Monday visit. So you may miss out on going out uh, on Sunday and having Sunday fun day, whatever and whatever. Um, You may not have, you know, you may only have Saturday in the place that you live. Or you may be on the road for a couple weeks kind of in a row. And that's just what it is. And, you know, my, my thought process is that you're not really leaning into being a CRA. Go with the flow. Go with that river. Let that river take you down and just kind of go go with it. Because if you keep pushing against it, you're only going to get burnt out like the swimmer in the scenario. And you're going to end up right back where you started from. Look, CRA I know is a demanding job. It's a challenging job. But if you try and fight fight the schedule in, without leaning into it, like for, like for example, you may have a visit Monday, Tuesday in the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, let's say that. But you're not traveling Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or let's say you, you have a visit, you know, Monday, Tuesday. Um, you're back in town Wednesday. Th- and when, uh, yeah, back in town Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then you have another visit out the next Sunday, let's say. So you're, you're in town Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So rather than get mad that you can't go hang out on Sunday, you can go hang out Thursday, Friday. Or you can go hang out Wednesday. Or let's say you have a visit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you really can't hang out. You get back late, you know, midnight or whatever, Friday night. Well, you can go hang out Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the next week or whatever, whatever it may be. You got to lean in to being a CRA because it's one of those things. If you go, if you try and go against the river, you're going to get burnt out really, really fast. And that's where people start getting frustrated. They get burnt out and they want to quit and go do something else. Um, and it's, it's meant to be challenging. Uh, there's not many other professions in in USA at least, where you can make as much money as you do as a CRA that quickly. Once you get to CRA, you can jump every six months to a year and, and come back with 20000 more dollars at least. You know, you start out, let's say, 70000 CRA 2, you're going to be making hundred k. That's a $30,000 bump plus a signing bonus. Then let's say you want to go up to a senior CRA. You can do that a year later. Go make one hundred twenty-five k, one hundred twenty k with a fifteen thousand dollars sign-on bonus. So there's not many professions where you can jump that quickly, that fast, uh, to make that kind of money. So that's something to think about. 
two, you're, there's not many other professions where you're traveling as much as a CRA and getting all those points. Um, you know, it's really nice when you are, uh, you know, diamond with Delta and you book a basic fare on points and then you get upgraded to first class for, um, for whatever, uh, whatever trip you're going on. Or it's really nice when you are, uh, what is it with Hilton? It, I think it's platinum with Hilton. Also, you book a basic ass hotel room on like hotels.com or something, or you just use basic points on um, Hilton and you get upgraded to the penthouse suite. True story that, that that's happened to me before. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of cons that people talk about with CRA, but there's a lot of pros too. really cool pros. Um, you know, it's, it's really cool when you have friends in these different cities and you get to go visit them and you end up becoming even better friends with them and they really appreciate you visiting them and spending time with you. Or it's really cool when you can take your friends out to dinner in these different cities too. So yeah, there, there, there's some cons, but there's also a lot of pros with being a CRA. And I think if people change their perspective rather than trying to fight the CRA schedule, if you just kind of leaned into it and just kind of rolled with the punches. Um, like for example, if you come back late midnight, you can sleep in the next day. You can't do that with a lot of other jobs. If you come back later, there's a work function. You're not gonna be able to sleep in. You gotta go be in the office eight, nine o'clock in the morning again. But as a CRA, you come in late, you get up on the computer whenever you want. You, you work you work as your own schedule. Or you can go do a grocery shopping, dry clean, and go work out in the middle of the day. You don't have any meetings to attend to. You know, your work is your work. You gotta, you gotta do your reports and get them in on time on your own schedule. So. Lean into being a CRA. On those long flights, work on your reports if you can. Um, do some work on those long flights. I love working on flights. So uh, your company will let you expense Wi-Fi 100%. So use that Wi-Fi or work on your reports offline or whatever you got to do. So lean into it. Go with the flow. It's gonna. The job is naturally going to give you time to work on your stuff. Or here's another example. You're in New York City. Traffic is crazy. So you're in traffic for an hour. You can pull out your computer, do some work. So lean into being a CRA. There's lots of opportunities for you to create create more time for yourself by leaning into the downtime that you're barely going to have in travel. Uh, to, so that, I think that should work to your benefit. So lean, my message, in, my message today is to lean in to, be, to being a CRA. And for all those people out there, CTAs, in-house CRAs, study coordinators that are interested in being CRAs. Uh, this is something you can ask your CRAs about. Uh, this is something that you can keep in mind for yourself is, you know, are you leaning in to being a CRA? Because I think that will really, really help and allow you to go with the flow. So as always, guys, if you have any questions or you want me to answer your personal question, email me eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. We have the resume review program going on as always. So email me eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. We do interview prep, uh, resume reviews, LinkedIn preparation, um, in LinkedIn uh, review also. So email me there if you're interested. Take care.